Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, this video talks about how you can pull the printer information from your computer, uh, the network adapters, your driver information, and basic computer system uh, data from your computer or anybody's. So this is all using C Sharp. Uh, I had this, forgot to do the video, but I had that code for a few days already. So I'm going to share it with, share this um, code with you. The first thing you need to do is make sure you are reference on your project. So you need to add system dot management. System dot management. That's the one we need to start writing this uh, code. So we'll, I'll just run it right now so you can see what it does. So we got four tabs. And the first one has basic information. Who's the user? CPU logical CPUs and basic manufacturer and blah 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 and the serial and how much memory I got on this 4 gigs and then we go driver info I only have one drive on this computer uh, I got the serial model and the size of the hard drive 500 gig and then we got the adapters tells you what the computer IP it is subnet Gateway DNS and all the basic uh, TCP IP information. And if we go to the printers, then it shows what printers I have installed on this computer, which is basically none, just these other ones. So obviously, you can extend this program to do more, get more information for your specific needs. So for right now, I'm just going to close it. And once again, you need system.management. So as you can see my project here, I have a few classes, a few files here. Uh, I'll just open one, like computer system. See what I got in here. So what I got here, I'm, I just have a basic class for the username, description, and all that basic stuff. So that's what I did to make it uh, clear. And the computer system product, this is actually just a serial number I just made one for it and then we got the disk drives just the basic information you can add more to it the adapters and adapter configuration I think this one is the one <clears throat> that I'm using I started doing this one but end up using this class so here we got the printers just name and port uh, this is just the uh, processors and here's the class that I put everything together so if we go in there in this class what I end up doing is <clears throat> uh, I did three tables three data tables to hold so I could show this these data tables are for the driver network and printers so the data is coming into these grids so here on the when I initialize my class, well, I have two other lists that pull the other information, which is uh, this stuff, the computer system. So here I'm just initializing uh, my objects, my data table, just adding columns to it, very basic, nothing fancy. And here's just my list I'm initializing, and then. Here I just have a one call, one method. Uh, it's get computer system values. So what I'm doing here is just using my class, <clears throat> just starting my classes. And like for example, computer system, it's this one. Computer system, this one. So basically, this is just a bucket to hold information that I'm gonna send back to my form. That's all. This is all about. This holds the serial drive from information the configuration this is just to hold it and it's easier to use it in code when you're writing so that's the printer now here's the where everything happens as you can see the management object ser searcher is the one that it, you need to pull this piece of information and as you can see 
uh, it's coming from system that management now this as you can see it takes uh, two arguments uh, scope and uh, and what you're searching for the query string so the scope is this root CMI v2 and I want everything from the computer system win32 underscore computer system and that will get you the information that you need now as you can see I got my custom classes here with username but this guy as I'll show you if you do this as you can see you don't have any information here it doesn't tell it, it does give you some methods that it has but for example for what I need which is a specific value like if I want to know the user you have to use an array type kind of like a dictionary that you pass the key and it returns the value so the difficult part was to find what do you actually type in here because you cannot just use whatever uh, it comes up it won't return uh, the data back but these are the values that you need to get the username number of processors and so on so basically what I'm doing here I'm just collecting the data and dumping into my class and I'm added to my list and that's all now the same thing goes with the computer system if you want the serial it's a different one as you can see this one is calling everything from the Windows 32 computer system product. You can see the this one includes product. Uh, the top one only has computer system. So that's the difference between this call and this one. And obviously you're using the same object. object. And here I'm just adding to my list. And then the disk drives, same object. But now you're calling the win32 underscore disk drive. And again, uh, the key part about this is knowing what to type in, in here. Because you get an object, but it doesn't actually tell you what the caption, media type, and all that it is. You actually have to type it up like a dictionary with, with a string as the key, and it returns the value you're looking for so so it's very easy once you get the hang of it you can start pulling uh, values out of it as you can see here I'm just checking what I have status and I'm checking if it's no and so on and here the adapters goes the same way as you can see here on this line I'm adding uh, the row to the data table that's all and passing the values and we'll continue we'll skip this one because I, I end up using this code this one works better so same object but this case I'm calling the network adapter configuration where IP enable equals true so basically that means that uh, if you're if you have an Ethernet connection if it's enable with an IP it will get it get it for you if not you can set it to false you can send this to false and you'll get all kinds of adapters on your computer but in this case I, I don't I, the only one I care is finding the IP address so once you run this search then you can start checking for the index of your network adapter and you can get the IP now if you set this guy to false you're gonna get a null here obviously and basically that's all this code does get your code back information from your computer and here I'm doing the Windows uh, printer so win32 underscore printer so almost out of time over here hopefully this will give you an idea how you can pull your computer um, stats very easy using the Windows management namespace as you can see here that's the one you need if you have any questions you can reach me on YouTube or on Facebook also thank you for watching this video